Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Austin Artesias, and this is The Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. This is a very special episode. It isn't. It isn't at all. I just like to say this is a very special episode. So. Uh, have you been? I've been good. It's, uh, been a good day. We have Curse of Darkness, and we're fighting Gluttony. Gluttony's a good thing to fight against. I really like the design of him. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, Alright, so let's get right into it here. Let's get uh, onto some tangents. More tangents than a... I don't know. High school math class. Now, uh, so... Uh, what should I tangent about today? Well, how about the fact that... Hey, what's the deal with airline food? Uh-huh, you know, uh, we have two choices, but they're always out of one. Uh-huh. No, it's not... It's a classic, classic comedy trope is the, um, I had to adjust my microphone there, and my eye, uh, is the, that segment from Seinfeld, I assume Seinfeld, I don't know, never watched Seinfeld, uh, but I assume it's from Seinfeld, should I watch Seinfeld? I should probably watch Seinfeld, eh, alright, so, you know, I think, uh, in, Rock, Paper, Scissors. You know that game, that classic, uh, game, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Really well balanced, um, created by... I don't know who it's created by, I'll have to look that up. Uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I feel like the paper in that game is really sort of overpowered for what it is. I mean, I guess it's well balanced or something, but... Paper, whoever... Ah, we're under fire, Captain! Just imagine we're on a pirate ship. Ah, we're under fire, Captain! They've got cannons! Uh, cause cannons are basically overpaid rocks. What shall we do, Captain? Ah, reinforce the hull with paper! And then the, uh... Cannonballs, when they ram into the ship, they get engulfed in paper and they magically disappear. Wow, some real lucky not getting hit stuff going on here. Gee, oh, whoa! I got my D key not working again. Oh, boy! That wasn't good. That sort of made up for that accidental dodge earlier on. Remember that? Oh, those are some good times back, like, 14 seconds ago. Was it 14 seconds? I have no idea. Hey. Alright. That's... We got some... We're pretty good on everything. Except health. We might as well kill that poo. Get some nice, uh, nice health back. Alright. Looking pretty good. We got Capricorn. We're in the basement one. Shooting some poo. <sighs> shooting some poo, looking for stuff inside the poo. I really don't know why uh, there's stuff inside poo. Do, um, do whatever poops these, whatever poops these, do they, uh, like, they eat coins and, like, petrified poo and stuff and hearts? And then suddenly not have them, suddenly, uh, I mean, somehow, that's it, not have them, the hearts get digested when they're, go through their old digestive tract. Kind of against the name, you know, digestive tract. It's in the name, uh, you'd expect it to digest stuff, but apparently not. Apparently not with these creatures. Right. Where am I heading? I'm heading up here. Tinted rocks. Did I miss any? Ah, uh, no. Let's say I didn't. I need to scrub my eye. Not scrub, rub my eye. Scrubbing my eye would be really painful and kind of uncomfortable. Uh, you know, just uh, scrub your eye, get up in there with a good uh, little wire brush. Mm, yeah. Nice greasy wire brush, the kind of thing you'd use to clean your carburetor. I don't even know what a carburetor is. I don't drive. What is a carburetor? Ah! Even in the comments, what's a carburetor? Never mind, I'm gonna look that up on Wikipedia after this. Ha 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 ha. Right. Ugh. I don't know why I went ha 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 there. That was a bit of a strange thing to be saying. Um, to you guys. Anything in the poo? Nothing in the poo. Should we check our curse room? We shouldn't. We absolutely should not check our curse room because that would be a really dumb thing to do. Ooh, hey. Be careful there, buddy. Uh, Sunny Jim. Buddy boy. Buddy man. 
Are, yep, referencing myself there. Yeah. Oh boy, that was an that was an uh, an interesting dodge. Oh, my my D key ain't working again. Well, my W key, but same thing. You know, what's the difference between W and D? Uh, you know, it's pretty it's pretty saw how people keep wanting to tell the to tell the difference between W and D. It's kind of alphabetist. Ooh, yui. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Placenta. I got a placenta. I don't, but I don't have one like next to me. Uh, that'd be kind of weird. Keep a placenta by my desk. It's um, provides a handy snack. I don't know. Right. So, ninety-eight point one percent of the d uh, monologue, not dialogue. I'm not. I'm only talking myself. Wow, my eyes are weird. Ugh. Excuse my... Excuse this. Apparently, um... Apparently I'm making bad choices. I don't know. Uh, 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 oof. Ooh, boy. Ah! Ah! First of many. Alright. Well, like, third of many. Fourth of many, actually. Uh... Four? Fourth of many. That's it. That's right. No! Sixth of many. Did I did? Oh my gosh, I accidentally pressed E. Good thing we got our bomb back. But bad thing, we didn't- we weren't really needing to use that bomb in the first place. I can English good. Oof. 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 It is the thing that horses walk on. Ah. Let's say... No. I was gonna say no right from the beginning. Uh, I was gonna say no right from the beginning, I just uh, wanted to do that little hesitation bit to make you think that I was considering it. I'm lying to you right now. Uh-huh. That's what YouTubers do, they lie to you. They lie to you and it's not healthy. Nah, it's healthy. Just, just gotta, just gotta believe. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Uh, so. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Brutal Doom recently. Brutal Doom, if you don't know, is a mod for Doom. And it's very, very... Oh. Ah, ooh. Nice, but that's not what I was looking for. Uh, Brutal Doom is a mod for the 1993 game known as Doom. Uh... You may know it for being one of the best first-person shooters ever made. Apparently, I've never played never played it. But, Brutal Doom comes with its own campaign, so hey, I've played that. I can't jump. That's weird. Um, I don't know why that's weird. See, I'm just, I just, I can't, can't stop talking. Can't stop talking. I mean, that's a good thing, but... Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, heck. I'm gonna extinguish this fire if that's gonna, what, what you're gonna do with that. Jeez, y'all need to chill. Chill your faces down. Chill them down with a nice big ice cube. Ah! Ooh, that was real close. All right. Let's try to find our treasure room. It's to our left. No, it isn't. It might be. It might be. It might be to our left. It might be to our up now. See, that's how directions work. They change when you move. Uh, really, really, um, be because everything's relative, you know? Everything's relative. My left isn't the same as your left. Uh, five feet in front of me isn't the same as your five feet in front of you. Uh, we're not gonna go in there. Uh, you know, it's all, it's all relative, man. It's more relative than a family re reunion. But, um, Okay, I apologize for that joke. Um, I also apologize for however far you've watched into this video. Um, I apologize for wasting that much of your time. You may want to do something else instead of watch this. Uh, I perfectly respect that. Uh, maybe you want to get caught up on maybe that book you've always wanted to write. Uh, everyone's got a book they've always wanted to write. I don't know why I don't know about you. 
Uh, everyone's got that book they've always wanted to write. This neat idea you've had in the back of your head for a long time. Uh, maybe you could do that. Whatever that is, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's writing a book, maybe it's making a video game, maybe it's going on a serial killing spree. Who knows? Um, you know what? You just gotta do it. Uh, and that's my... Daily... What was that? I saw a shadow. <laughs> that was real creepy. Hold on just a second. What the dang was that? Okay, that must have been outside my window. I saw a shadow in my window. Right next to me. I'm gonna... Gonna close these old blinds right here. If you'll excuse me for just a brief moment here. Yes. That's much better. Now I can't see if any monster things want to eat my giblets off in real life. Oop, my microphone is all weirdy, woo. <clears throat> right. Uh. Mm. Again! Died on the basement one that time. Might have died on the basement one before. My headphones are weird. They're less... Mm. They're less weird now. 2011 was an interesting year for games. Uh, on the one hand, we got Portal 2 and Bulletstorm. On the other hand, we got Duke Nukem Forever. And probably some other games. I don't know, those are the only games I know that came out in 2011. Uh, what else came out in 2011? Oh, this game. <laughs> the game this game is based on. The game this game is a remake of, I, I should say. And then an expansion of. Uh, it came out in 2011 as well. Um, one year after 2010. Uh, which was quite a year. What? Do, do you remember 2010? Yeah, that was seven years ago. People who were born in 2000 in 2010 or starting primary school last year feel old i feel old i'm only i'm only 16 and i feel old uh, i feel i have no items but i i feel old i'm really i'm really not paying enough attention to this i feel i feel like i really should pay more attention i you know the talking the whole talking thing is sort of uh, distracting me from what I need to be doing in this game which is bad but also good because you get to see me being bad at this game which is great uh, uh, bad damage no not bad damage could have used some damage upgrades maybe some tier speed upgrades not tier speed shot speed Tier, tiers upgrades. But I didn't, so I, I'm not... I guess that's not gonna happen. That's never gonna happen as long as we both shall live. Yes. Alright. Got some lipstick. Lipstick, if you don't know, is a condiment that one puts on french fries. Uh, and it's good. A lipstick is also the thing that you put into your car to check the oil level, except you then lick it off with your lips. You gotta slide it over your lips to clean it. Uh, that's why it's called the lipstick. True story. Um, ying, 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 uh. That was really dumb. I think I died three times in the basement one there. Well, oh well, let's do a challenge now. <laughs> Gosh, it's been 15 minutes. Um, less than that, probably. Oh, boy. You know what? I should probably do a let's play more sort of campaign, traditional campaign-focused game than this sort of meta-game sort of thing. But I've already committed. I've already committed to this. I've made two episodes. Well, I've made one episode. I'm making two episodes. Making one episode right now. I've, I'm making... Making it so that there are two episodes, in case you were confused. That's new. What are you? I don't know, because I have Curse of the Unknown. That's a white heart. It's a double white heart. Is that like, um, a double eternal heart? Because maybe, maybe that's given me a new, a brand spanking new heart container? Come on, there we go. I don't remember whether or not you get item or- You know, let's do 
let's go to the curse room. I don't remember whether or not get item rooms in this challenge. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, bad idea. Bad ideas going on all over the place right now. Oof. Ooh, 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 yes. Ah, nice. Sweet. Sweeter than a fresh jar of sweet Sweeney Todd. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just sort of saying stuff for the sake of stay saying stuff, which, you know, I feel is YouTube at its best, you know? You know? You know. Ah, you know. You know? You know. We all know. We all know. We all know what you did last summer. John. That's right, John. We know you murdered that person. Just turn yourself in. It'll be so much easier once you turn yourself in for the crimes you've committed against that poor, poor young couple last Thursday. You know what you did to that poor, poor young couple last Thursday. Their family still hasn't recovered. John, you darn, darn piece of dumb. You're, you're never, you won't be remorseful, will you, John? No. You'll never stand up for what you did, John. For what you did to those poor, poor children. Those poor, poor children, John. Ah. Oh! I'm really, I'm really doing dumb stuff right now. Ping! Okay, I can wait. Just uh, head up on over here. Oh, perfect. Great. Ha 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 ha. Now, if I can take both of these, I'm in bad shape. Wait. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. The thing about this run. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, the thing about this challenge is that you only know if you've, if you're in bad shape once you've fixed it. Uh, well, about having Curse of the Unknown. It's a real nice little design choice, I think. I don't know. Uh, you could count how much health you have. Although, it'd be- Oh, man, it'd be really nice if you started with, like, random health. These are half-step thingies. I wonder if you push them. No, you don't push them. So what's the point of them being at a half-step? Are they like a one-way sort of thing? Sort of deal? Can you walk over them one way? But no, you can't. Huh. I wonder what the deal with those things are. Maybe it's a graphical glitch. Maybe it isn't. What if I bomb them? Truly the answer to all life scrape questions? Nothing happens. They don't provide any sort of alcovery. Um, or my tears can't go any farther than that into them than they normally can. Huh! Well, I don't know what the deal with those things are. Hmm. Let's look for a secret room. Perfect. Alright, we got a bunch of money. A bunch of Monet. More Monet than a French. Than a than a more Monet than a uh, what's it called? What's that style of art that Monet drew in? Than a that exposition. What what what's, what was that? What, what what's that called? It's like impressionism or something like that. Impressionism. Yeah, it's impressionism. It's about like light and stuff. Oh come on, you can hit him. Thank you. You hit him. Hit him harder than you've ever hit him. It's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit. Said the Northern Lion. Hey, I'm not Northern Lion. How dare you compare me to Northern Lion, you... Oh! What is this, chest for ants? Oh, crap, I'm moving fast. Did you know that, um, ants, uh, actually count their steps to get to whatever food source they want. Like, in order to memorize how far it is to a certain thing, uh, they'll memorize the number of steps it takes to get there. This is actually true. This is real cool. Real cool science facts um, up on in here. No, seriously, Google it. This is actually true. Um, 
So what they did is, to test this, they attached stilts to an ant's legs to make their steps longer, their stride longer. And I'm taking a lot of dumb damage. This is a uh, dead end anyway, so not worth it. Um, so what they did is they attached stilts to their legs to make their strides longer. Jesus, I'm taking so much damage. And they... So, okay. They set out like a little pu puddle of honey, and then they showed it to the ants, and they walked back home. And then they attached stilts to their legs, and they were like leading other ants to it. And uh, they walked right past it. They walked right past the honey, and just continued for exactly the number of steps they took originally. Ants are weird. Ants are a really wonderful little thing. I really like looking into the minds of animals. Um, not literally. You know, I don't like... I'm not a vet. I don't know what it's like to look into the mind of an animal. Literal brain. Uh, sort of fleshy mind. Oh god, I'm gonna die. But, you know, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna eventually shuffle off this mortal coil. As I have done. Oh well. Guppy's Collar. That's a revival item? That revives me? If I remember correctly, right? That revives me, right? That's the one that revives you. That's not Guppy's Tail. No, Guppy's Tail is the one that makes there be lots of red chests or something. Right? Yeah, that's what Guppy's Tail does. Um. I do. Nah. Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe it makes cursed rooms better? I don't know. It's the description of it is cursed, so I assume it has something to do with red chests or cursed rooms. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. More ahead than a head. A literal, actual, literal head perched upon my shoulders. Ghost baby um, is something that you don't want at a... Ghost baby is what haunts those who have had miscarriages. Uh, I could have done that joke better, I'm sorry. That joke could have done, been done better. Let's explore the rest of the map. Level, map, whatever. I mean, I'm looking at this map up in the corner, so yeah, I'm lo I am exploring the rest of the map. Did I buy it? No, I died on the basement too last time. I hope, god. If I die, if every single run in this episode is me dying on the basement one, then I'm gonna be not happy. Range down. That's not good. What's my range like now? About half the level. Half the... The... Square -er footage of the whole sort of thing that's going on in this present situation. Yes. Alright, we gotta open a chest and we got some nice stuff, you know? Uh, it's uh, nothing to sneeze at. Um, how dare you compare me to Northern Lion? It's nothing to sneeze at? Excuse me. I need to sneeze at something. Alright, I snows at something. Uh, snows, past tense of sneeze. True fun story facts. True fun story facts. Uh, for you and for me. We're all a happy family. Him and her and the baby too. Too many true fun story facts. True fun story facts. It's true, true. Who? I, I would totally watch a sitcom called True Fun Story Facts. No, what would... What, what, uh, it's like... It'd be like... You know, it'd be kind of like the Cosby show, but... um. A really sarcastic version of the Cosby Show. Uh, Rick and Morty. Okay, never mind. Um, Rick and Morty is basically a really sarcastic version of the Cosby Show. It isn't. It really isn't at all. Uh, Rick and Morty and the Cosby Show are in no way similar shows, but y y if you if you sort of kind of like overanalyzed it, you could theoretically come to that conclusion about it. I should have looked for a secret room, but I didn't because I'm bad at this game. Basement 2! There we go. At least this time we're not going to be dying on the basement 1. Buying on the basement 1. Oh boy. Well, it was, it was nice knowing you. See you on the flip. Uh, 
Fine, let's look for a bomb. Look for a bomber. Brock Obama. What is this? It's electric. Oh! I, I wonder what I'm doing right now. Does that heal me? Is that hurting me? I don't know what that's doing. Well, that's an odd little thing. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to do more research into what that is. Not by looking on the wiki, but by... But by just experiencing it in the game with you guys. All nine of you. Maybe ten at this point. Probably just nine still. Uh, I doubt that one episode of this game has wrought me another subscriber. Wrought me, yes. It has, um... Wrought from steel and nothing. The I've made that joke before in this series, haven't I? Ugh, marvelous. Well, I'm dead. That was a half-hour episode of The Mining of Isaac Anti-Birth. I really should pay more attention, I feel. You know, uh, I've died six times. I have had six times. That doesn't seem quite right. I've had nine items. Uh, I discovered nine items, which are Mom's Lipstick, The Belt, Dead Bird, BF, Placenta, Old Bandage, D10, Capricorn, Dirty Mind, and that's the only modded item I've discovered is Dirty Mind, apparently. Apparently. Alright, secrets. Ah, uh, one. Best streak, zero. And I'm currently at negative six. Well... Oh, right, because that doesn't count. Uh, the challenge runs don't count, I guess. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!